Let's see, what puzzles do I still have to do? As I said, you can do the puzzles in this game in any order you want. Let me see, I haven't done the bat puzzle yet. And I haven't done... I haven't done this. I haven't done swimming at Blue Hole. So what I'm going to do is go to Blue Hole and try to go swimming there. And then I'm going to finish the bat puzzle. Both of these puzzles involve going to see Johnny Roll. The diving part involves going to see Johnny Roll because when Nancy goes diving... This isn't gonna work. I can't see a thing. So she's going to have to ask Johnny Roll if she can borrow some sort of underwater light from him. And the bat puzzle involves going to see Johnny Roll, because if you remember, once you fix the uh, bat detector battery, you have to ask Johnny if he has a 9-volt battery so you can use it and actually work the uh, bat detector. What does it know? When that happens, he tells you to find his beacon, and once you do, you can give it to him, and he'll give you the battery. I retrieved your beacon for you. Here you go. Good. And here is your battery. Thank you. That is all. Do you think he could give me an underwater glow stick? Yeah. I think I can do this, yes. There's a big if coming, isn't there? If you program my GPS with the obstacles on this chart, I will not be able to navigate away from this island until this is done. Okay. Is there a reason why you don't program it? A very good reason, because you are here and you want the glow stick. And because if you do this, when I get to San Salvador Island, I will send the police to help you and your friend. All right. I am beginning to like this relationship, Nancy Drew. Hmm. Well, I'm beginning to not like this relationship. You're just bossing us around, you bossy old beach bum. This is an easy-ish puzzle. What you have to do is consult the map, and if you remember, on the sailboat, on the last page, it gave you the uh, location points for the island we're on now, which is Dread Isle. Which are these right here, 2400-7324. This map tells you everything you need to know. You'll notice that Dread Isle is exactly one square above Half Moon Bay. Now if you check the coordinates, you'll notice that it's exactly three degrees north. Three degrees north of Half Moon Bay. That means each square equals three degrees. That helps you figure out where everything else is. Let me show you. Bermuda Triangle, one square to the west, one, two, three, four, five, six squares to the north. Now because each square equals three degrees, that means it's going to be three degrees west of Dread Isle and 18 degrees north of Dread Isle. Think you understand? Let's test this out. 18 degrees north. And three degrees west. Whoops, I meant 18 degrees north. And there you go. It finds the Bermuda Triangle. And basically, that's the strategy you're going to use to figure out where everything is. And then you just have to insert everything onto the GPS system. The Barefoot Tracker GPS system. That's the Shipwreck Shoals. Next is 2409 and 7342. Good, good, good. Then we have 2351. 2351 and 7348. 2354, and let me see, 7412, we're getting farther west. Seventy four eighteen and 2409.
And last but not least, you have to insert the coordinates for Half Moon Bay. Even though it's already listed on the map, so Johnny Roll already knows where it is, you have to insert it anyway. Alright, there we go. It's all done. What does it know? I finished programming your GPS. Mm hmm You'll be able to drive your boat away from here with no problem. You do fine work. Here is the glow stick. Thank you. That is all? Yep. No more questions. Goodbye. See you later, Johnny. So... Now let's go to the bat steep, now that we have the uh, battery for the bat tracker, right? Where's the bat tracker? We have the battery for it. Let me double check to see if I have the bat detector. The bat detector is over here. In case you didn't see the video where I fixed the battery, this is the solution. That looks right, but I still need a battery. Looks like this thing needs a battery. So you look at the thing, you take the battery you got from Johnny Roll, and you stick it inside the bat detector to get it to work. Now which bats are you looking for? This will tell you about the bats. These bats, they all have specific frequencies that they listen to. Now you'll notice that this bat has really large ears. That's mentioned in El Toro's journal. The family of bats that have gargantuan ears. So those are the bats that you're going to want to find when you go to Bat Steep. I did not mention this before, but on the climbing wall, you'll notice there are caves. There are five of them where the bats hang out. And each cave has a different kind of bat. Which kind of bat is in which cave is randomly determined. So you're just going to have to go climbing along the wall until you find the correct cave, which has the bats you're looking for. Let me try the cave over here to the left. Let me see. Ah, there's the cave. Hey, monkeys, stop throwing rocks. Mean old monkeys. Let's see which bats are in this cave. It's Nancy. Oh, whoops. Over. That's Four not care. the battery. What's up? Over. Just checking in. Over. Nothing going on here. Over. Keep me posted. Over and out. Well, hey, maybe switching to George is a good idea. Because I didn't mention... The bats you're looking for, their frequency is 15. So you're going to hope to find the bats on frequency Nancy? 15. I'm here. Anything to report? Over. Not really, no. Over. It is back to work. Over and out. Aw, oh, man, I have to go climbing up the wall again? Okay, so after a bunch of climbing, I managed to figure out which was the right cave. This one over here in the bottom left. And as I said, every time you play the game, the bats are going to be in different caves, so you're just going to have to try each cave until you figure out which one is the one for you. Once you figure out that this is the cave, you can go inside the cave for more puzzles.